Hello my friend and welcome to this another episode of Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. For today's episode, we will be covering one of the most powerful mage assassin in the game which is Gushan. Gushan is also one of the most difficult hero to use and that is one of the reasons why I choose him in today's episode. So in this episode, we will be covering the skills and abilities of Gushan, powerful combos of Gushan that are essential for your victory, item builds and emblems, and lastly, tips on how to use Gushan properly. I suggest that you watch this video tutorial till the end because I guarantee you that you will learn a lot from this episode and your time will not be wasted. I know you're excited my friend so I won't delay this any further and let the tutorial begin. Kin, kin, kin. With his passive skill, Gushun is able to gather rune stacks every time he uses his skills. Once the runes reaches a total of 3 stacks, Gushun's next basic attack is greatly enhanced, which deals extra damage equal to 15% of the target's lost HP. Therefore, the lower the enemy's HP is, the greater the damage. And at the same time, Gushun will also restore his HP equal to 80% of the damage that was dealt to the target. Therefore, the greater the damage, the greater the heal. The passive skill works well also on jungle monsters and enemy minions. Take note that the enhanced basic attack has a fixed damage on towers and has a fixed heal for Gushun. With skill 1, Gushun throws a dagger to a target dealing magic damage and marks the target for several seconds. Meanwhile, Gushun gains one stack of his passive skill. Once the skill is used again, Gushun then moves behind the target and deals another magic damage. Gushun then gains another 1 stack of his passive skill. Therefore, if this passive skill is used twice, Gushun will gain a total of 2 stacks. This skill provides a great setup for your second skill which will be shown to you later on in this video. Take note that you are only able to dash towards your target at a certain allowed distance. If you are too far from your target, then dashing through your skill 1 doesn't work. This skill is also useful in revealing enemies that are hiding in bushes. With skill 2, Gushun throws 5 daggers in front and each dagger deals damage to the target. The target is then slowed for 2 seconds. Meanwhile, Gushun gains 1 stack of his passive skill. Once the skill is used again, Gushun will then recall all of his daggers and deals another magic damage to enemies along the way. Gushun then gains another 1 stack of his passive skill. If you do not use your second skill again, the dagger will automatically recall on its own after a short period. Take note that the closer you are to your target, the greater the damage. Also. The thrown daggers deals higher damage compared to the recall daggers. With his ultimate skill, Gushun blinks to a target location and immediately reset the cooldown of his first and second skill. Gushun can now throw additional 5 daggers to the target. Right after using the skill, Gushun will then also have the ability to dash to a certain direction. The dash can also pass through walls. Now that you are already knowledgeable about the skills and abilities of Gushun, let us now dive into his powerful combos. Before I will demonstrate to you the combo, I want you to understand that the usage of skill 1 and skill 2 will interchange sometimes depending on the distance of your target. So for example, if the enemy is far, then you need to activate your skill 1 first before you activate the second skill. And if your target is close, then you need to activate your second skill before using the skill 1. So for this reason, again, the first and the second skill might interchange sometimes depending on the distance of your target. Got it? This combo is best used to easily reach far enemies. This combo is also useful in reaching the enemies at the backline such as marksman and mages. So this is how to initiate the combo properly. First is, use your second skill, 
and then use your ultimate skill near to your main target, use the second skill again towards your target, use your first skill then dash towards your target, and then recall your daggers immediately, and finally do a basic attack for the final blow. This combo is best used to maintain a safe distance between you and your target. So this is how to initiate the combo. First is, use your second skill and first skill to your target, dash towards your target and recall all of your daggers. Use your ultimate skill away from your target. Use your second skill and your first skill to your target, and then finally, dash towards your target, recall all of your daggers, and do a basic attack. This combo is best used to target who are alone and are quite tanky. So this is how to initiate the combo. First is, dash towards your target using skill 1, cast your second skill then do a basic attack, and then recall all of your daggers, then tap the ultimate skill just before the recall daggers reaches to your target, cast the second and first skill to your target, and then finally, recall your daggers, dash towards your target with skill 1, and do a basic attack. So this combo is best used to quickly eliminate soft and squishy heroes. Now here are the tower dive combos. By the way my friend, if you are learning and you like this video, please give us your support by giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Mobile Legends hero tutorial tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will never miss our valuable upcoming Mobile Legends guides. Now these are the item builds that I can recommend. Since Gushun is used as a core hero most of the time, then you need to enhance his burst capabilities. If you have noticed, I also included the demon shoes as an option. The reason is, there will be times that Gushun will be used as a side laner depending on different situations, therefore you need a demon shoes in order for you to sustain his mana. For the jungle item, you have the option to choose to increase your damage or to increase your defense. 
Now, if your enemy has a powerful regen abilities, then I will recommend the Necklace of Durance instead of building the concentrated energy. Anyway, Necklace of Durance can still give considerable amount of spell vamp. Well, the rest of the items are self-explanatory. Now, here is my preferred emblem. I prefer to use the Mage Emblem with Mystery Shop so that I can build my core items faster. For the spell, I prefer to use Retribution so I can farm and level up faster. Execute is also recommended if you will use Gushion as a side laner. Now here are my tips on how to use Gushion properly. First is, you don't need to have a fast hands in order for you to use Gushion properly. What you exactly need is accuracy and proper execution of your skills. As long as you can land your skills to your target perfectly, then a kill is almost always a guarantee. Second is, always aim the enemy course. Since Gushion has a great burst damage output and can easily blink on good positions, then your primary goal is to kill the enemy course. And third is, never use your Retribution in jungle monsters if the turtle is available. Always remember that Retribution is greatly used in securing a turtle kill. And lastly, kill your buffs as fast as possible. Never hesitate to use your ultimate skill in killing your buff monsters. Anyway, your ultimate skill has a fast cooldown. Now that you're already knowledgeable about the basics of Gushion, I am now inviting you to watch the next video for a full Gushion gameplay. In that video, I will be sharing to you the implementations of what you've just learned in this video about my decision making and also including the mistakes that I made. We all know that Gushion is one of the most difficult hero to use in the game, but with consistent and deliberate practice, a perfect skill can be developed. So keep on practicing, my friend. If you agree, give this video a thumbs up. By the way, I'm inviting you to our epic skin giveaways. Here are the mechanics in order for you to join. First is, subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and then comment what you liked about this video. So watch out for our next upload, my friend, because I might announce who is our lucky winners. So that's it in this video my friend, I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned a lot from this episode. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't miss our upcoming Mobile Legends Hero Tutorial Tips and Tricks. Thank you so much for watching this video my friend, always remember that you are amazing. This is 1UP Gaming, see you on our next video.